Hi everyone, welcome to the another video of Postman series. So today in this video, we are going to see about how do we export the data from the Postman. Okay, you can export your Postman data including collections, environment variable, data terms, global, everything. Okay, as a JSON file. So now, why do we want to export the data, right? So when you signed in, in your Postman, so all the data that you have stored here, it will be backed up in the Postman server. Okay, you can see all the data in this workspace is backed up on the our server. So it means tomorrow if you change your laptop, again, if you do the signing with the same credential, so all the data will be restored. Okay. So if at all, if you have not signed in and if you are working in the local scratch card, which is your local laptop. Okay. So in that case, when you change the laptop, if you want to export all the data, you can do it. Okay. So the first one, what you have to do, so just go here and just click on the collections. Okay. So first we'll see how to export as a collection wise and the environment wise. Okay. And we can, we can go for the dump data also. Okay. You can entirely take over all collections and all the environment in the single take also. Okay. So now in the collection level, if you want to export, just click on the export. So this will give you like collection 2.1 version is recommended. You can see this collection will be exported as a JSON file. Okay. Simply click on the export. So now it will ask you to store the location. Okay, it is asking, asking for the folder directory. So I'm going to store under this Postman tutorial, just click on save. Okay, now you can see your collection was exported successfully. Okay, this is a way you can export your collection and you can share the file to someone else to, I mean, they can use by using the import option that we'll cover in the second part of this video. So now we have exported as a collection. Okay, so now I want to, I mean, I want to export the environment variable also because this collection is, having the dependency on the environment variables. So now just, just click on this environment variable. Uh, you can export the global also. For example, we have some data on the global variables. So here you can see find as a export. So this one also will be stored as a JSON. Similarly, if you want to export the environment variable, so just click on here. After this, just go to this triple icon. You can see here. So export option, right? So when you click on this export, so this one also will be stored in the JSON file. And your collections will be stored as a postman underscore collection. Your environment variables will be stored as a postman underscore environment. So this is my environment name, QA environment. Okay. So I'm going to save this one also. This is a way you can export your collections, environment, global, everything. Okay. Now the next one is I want to, I mean, for example, I have like a hundred collections or 50 collections. It is very hard to do this. Right? So going to each collection and exporting the things. So instead of doing that, I want to export all the collections, all the environment variables, all the work that I have done on my postman. So in that case, what you can do now, you can go to the settings, okay, under the data. So here you can see export over all collection in the single dump file. Okay. So when you do this, so the dump file of all your collections, environment, global, and header, everything. Okay it will be exported as a JSON file. I mean, it will be exported as a zip file. Okay, the moment when we click on the export data, so you will be redirect to your Postman account in the browser. Okay, so this is how you will be redirected. So wait, let's wait for some time to be loaded. Okay. So now after this, you can just click on the export data option. So I'm just clicking on the export data. Now you can see it is asking for what, what kind of data you want to export. So you can select the collection and the environment. Okay, so now I'm just going to click on the request export data. So what it will do in the sense, so it will take some time. Okay, it has some status like a, when you click on the request data report, export. So first time you can see it is coming as a transfer. So after some time you can see I'm going to refresh it will be changed as a transfer. Then it will come as a zipping and a zip and it will be ready to download. So this will be a zip file format where you can download and you can import to the postman. Okay, now you can see still it is transfer. Let's press again. Okay, it is coming as a transfer still. So now after some time, if you see, you know, it will, it will come as a download option like this. So the moment when you click on the download, you can see it is getting downloaded as a zip file. Okay. And you can extract this file and you can do the import. Okay. So these are the ways where you can export your 
collections, environment from the your post bank. Okay. So now we have import option also. Okay. So we have exported. Now I want to import. So for import, what you have to do, you have to just go to this import tab here. Okay. So here you can see import button is up. The moment when you click on the import, the import has lot of options. Like you can import your file, or you can import as a folder, or you can import as a link, or you can import as a raw text or code repository also. Okay. So now I am going for the file. Okay. So just select the file. So this is a JSON file. So which we have exported in our previous session, right? So I mean the previous uh, video, not in the previous video, the same video. Okay. So here, this is what I have exported collection, right? And this one also I have exported. So now let's import this, okay? The moment when you import this one, so this is our collection name, right? So base collection, this is what we exported before. Now we are going to import this. So it will, it will look like this. This is a collection name and this is the format. So when you are trying to import, it will be successfully imported to your collection. So in this case, we already have the same name of base collection. It is asking to do the copy of it. Okay, already exists. You want to do, you like to do, just import as a copy. So now when you do this, so you can see this is imported successfully, right? So when I expand this, you can see all the collections. I mean, this collection, I have five requests. So the same copy of collections I have imported. Okay, so if you want to delete, you can just go for a delete. So you can simply click on the delete button. Okay, the collection is deleted. Okay, similarly, you can import the environment variables also. So let's go to the file. Again, I'm going to select the environment JSON file. So now you can see it is coming as an environment name and at the format of the Postman collection, I mean Postman is Postman environment. So in previous, it was coming as a collection. Okay. So when you do this, again, I have the same name of environment variables. So let's go to the environment variables. Here you can see one more variable will be imported. Right. So let me delete this. Okay. So this is how we will import. Okay, what are the other options are available? You can import as a folder, you can import as a link also, and you can import as a raw text. For example, raw text is nothing like a curl method, right? So when you go for this get method, if I want to import this as a curl method, so on the right side, you have the code snippet. Okay, the code snippet also I will be covering in another video. So here I'm just going to copy this. And when I go to the import, so go to the raw text, just place this, just do the continue. Okay, you can see it is importing as a curl format. Okay, so when you do import, this one request will be imported like this. You can see whatever this collection has, same details, get method, this is the endpoint, whatever, everything is important. Okay, so now what else we have? Uh, the link, right? So when it has come to link, for example, uh, you can go to any swagger link or anything, for example, let's go to web store. Swagger. So this is a JSON link. You can see if I click on this JSON link, so this is for the pet store. Okay, I'm copying this link. I want to do the import through the link. So when you do this, this via import also will work. You can see it is, it is importing as an API. Okay, so there will be JSON also. So importing as a JSON collection for the Swagger API. So let me try to find out that one. Okay, let me try to import this. I think both are same, I believe. Okay, I think uh, this is APA. I mean, APA also you can import. Okay, you can import as a collection also, and you can import as a APA also when you go for a link. Okay, so this is this is an APA link actually. It's not a collection link. Okay, so similarly, uh, we do have a, a collection link also where you can get it from Postman. So let's. Let's uh, do some search here, Postman API. So this is a Postman API collection. Let's try to do this. Okay, so this is not working. So this will be allowed one day. Okay, copy link is there. So let me try to the copy link. 
Okay, the link is copied. Let me go back to uh, my workspace, which is a Postman tutorial. Let's try to import from here. So go to the link. Okay, I think this will not work. Let's see. Okay, this will not work because the link we copied is not a JSON link. But you can export as a, I mean, you can get it a link also. So for example, here it is coming as an API. So here uh, you have a similar API JSON link also. Let me try to find out. So here you can see JSON Swagger. Okay, let me try to import this. I think this itself is a link for me. Okay. But, but you can import as a API or you can import as a collection also. Okay. So when you do this link, somebody share the JSON link of your collection, you can do that also. So the raw text, which we have seen as a curl method, you can import from the code repository also. For example, if your code is stored under the GitHub or Bitbucket, GitLab or Azure, from anywhere you can do the import. So I have the GitHub account. Let me go to the GitHub. Okay. It is asking to continue because we have to complete the authorization. Okay. The GitHub is authorized now. So now we can close this tab, we can go to the postman. So here you can see, this is my GitHub account, okay? So in this, it is asking for the organization. This is my organization and repository, okay? So here I have something like a new man, okay? So this is my repository and it is asking for the branch. I have only one branch, which is a master. So when I do the continue, you can see, I have one collection. So this is an environment variable and this is a collection, okay? And it is importing as a collection here and it is importing as an environment. So when I do the import, you can see Azure pipeline is my collection name and Azure pipeline environment variable is my environment. You can see the both are imported, right? You can directly import from the code repository like Bitpacket, GitLab, Azure also you can do that, okay? Similarly, we can do the import from the API gateway also by Amazon Web Services and Azure API management also, okay? So this is the way you have to do the import. So most of the time you will be using as a file, okay? Somebody will export this as a JSON file so we can go to this export collection. So they will share this as a JSON file format. Then you can come to get this import and you can upload that. That will be imported to your Postman account. Okay. So this is how we will do the import. Okay. Export and import. Okay. So that's all about this video. Or we will see another topic in the next video. Thank you guys.